By watching this video, you will be able to make a game mechanic just like this one that has more than 50 million downloads in Google Play. Okay, let's create this sorting puzzle game in this size. I'm gonna copy the size, put it here as usual, and let's call this game layer layout and this one uh, gonna be game sheet and this one is gonna be pg layer and game layer and let's just select percentage text and now we need to add our background to this layer and i'm gonna put it in the middle oh i have a copy and make this bigger okay and i'm done with this let's call this pg lock the pg layer and in the game i need to have oh yeah it's okay in the pg uh, in the game layer i need to have my glass object and i'm gonna call this glass and in uh, in here we need to set snap grid on and make the snap uh, size to 56 by 56 and let's just uh, create these objects very quickly I'm gonna use uh, control while dragging a object to create new one okay so I have six classes and I need to have my ball object and it has eight frames totally and the animation speed is zero this is my default construct settings and you can set it to uh, zero in the settings okay so we have this ball object and uh, let's call this ball and add family of ball which is going to be f ball and add family of class which is going to be f class and uh, this f ball needs to have <clears throat> twin behavior and index variable and also parent variable that's going to be the class class uid and f class needs to have uh, balls count <clears throat> local variable okay so now i have these uh settings here and i need to add the balls manually okay so let's do this yeah we have uh four glasses full and two glasses empty because we need to get uh, we need to make the game keep going okay let's go in the code and add the codes okay okay now let's add two variables first one is going to be selected class that's going to have the uid of selected class and the second one is going to be selected ball frame and now let's say on glass on glass created we need to set the index and uh, parent of each ball inside the glass okay and the index is going to be uh, like this index one index two three and four and for doing that we need to go in here for each order it ball order by ball dot y and it's going to be descending because we're going to start from bottom to top and if balls if ball is uh overlapping class then we need to set balls parent to glass.uid just like this and then we need to add to balls count one and then we need to set index of ball to ball uh, actually glass dot balls count okay we, uh, we have this uh, correctly in here and now we need to add touch let's say when we touch on a glass if selected glass is minus one we need to set selected glass to glass.uid the chosen one and then we need to 
<clears throat> pick the ball inside the glass, pick the highest one, highest ball, highest index, and then move that ball <clears throat> to glasses position, glass.x and glass.bboxtop minus at in 0.3 second and out quintic and the beatbox top is in here okay now let's run yeah it works very well and now we need to click on the second glass and do this stuff for knowing that we are choosing the second glass I need to click on this event and hit X on the keyboard for making this else and then in here we need to uh, convert stuff so first situation is we are clicking on this glass and then we and then uh, we're doing that again we click twice on the on a on a glass okay so let's say if selected glasses ID is equal to selected glass this variable then we need to return the ball back and for doing that I need to have a function return okay I'm gonna call this function in here <clears throat> in here let's say pick the selected glass and pick the highest ball inside that glass and then move that back so the position is gonna be glass.bbox button minus 70 and let's run that as you can see select uh, first click and then second click it goes on this position the first ball's position and then we need to go in here and continue uh, in the parentheses let's say class dot balls count minus one multiply by the grid size which is 56 but we need to multiply it that's gonna be 112 okay so we uh, write that uh, write this code because uh, if we have four three two one any of this uh, balls count inside classes this gonna work okay so let's run as you can see if I click on this and then click again you can see it goes to the correct position and for this works and also for this okay now we need to reset the selected glass in here so select selected glass is gonna be minus one and then we're gonna go and click several times all right now uh, in here we have the situation number two we uh, we clicked on this and then we and then we click on the second glass which is this okay but it may have no uh, no balls inside it or it may have some balls let's add that situation okay else if glasses ball count balls count is equal to four that means it's full we need to return and else if balls count is equal to zero that means it's empty we need to move that ball in okay so we we, we do need a new function for that it's gonna be move ball and it needs a parameter for the glass target okay and in here we need to say if UI is a call to glass target and in here we need to call that function move ball glass target is glass.uid and in here let's say yeah just uh, just a quick edit for this copy paste first one needs to be selected glass first clicked glass and the second one needs to be f glass uh, uid glass target the second clicked glass okay so this one is first this one is second <clears throat> and now we need to 
we need to add to uh, balls count of F class <clears throat> because the ball goes from this one to this one and we need to subtract from balls count of the first class and then we need to pick <clears throat> the highest ball inside the glass which is selected and then set its parent to fclass.uid and index to fclass.balls count okay and then we need to move that ball so in here hit b and copy this and move this in here all right let's run oh i forgot to replace the glass with f class because the position target position is f class <clears throat> so i'm gonna go and click on this it goes very uh directly <laughs> and i need to copy paste this action and replace with f class and i need a little weight between them for moving the ball first here and then go in here so just like this and after a while i need to re i need to reset this variable to minus one okay now uh let's run again yeah i can choose and when i click on this it returns and it needs to be returned and also it needs to go on this uh, on this glass and we need to add the code in here and in here we need to pick the highest glass highest ball in the glass and say if it has same color with selected ball frame then we need to move the ball else we need to return okay so just like this let's run and as you can see if i click on this it doesn't work because i didn't set the selected ball frame okay let's set it in here selected ball frame is gonna be ball dot animation frame yeah that's gonna work just like this yeah and because it doesn't have the same frame doesn't work okay so moves moves and works very good and now we need to check the glass so and now I need to have a function for checking the glasses I'm gonna call this in here and in here let's say for each glass I have and then for each ball inside that glass parent is equal to glass.uid and in here oh I have two functions why I don't know and in here I'm gonna compare each ball to the next ball okay just like this this one's frame is gonna compare with this one and this one gonna compare with this one and so on okay so let's say copy paste replace with f ball if uh, has that parent and index is equal to ball dot index plus one that means if you are uh, choosing this one the next one the f ball gonna be this okay and then if f balls frame is equal to ball dot animation frame we need to uh, we need to add to a local variable I'm gonna add this and call this uh, correct count and in here I'm gonna add the correct count and in here let's say if correct count is equal to three three times okay first second and third then we need to say 
class is done and uh, class is done and full full with correct false so i'm going to add a new local variable called done and i'm going to say class is done in here and every time i check i need to set all done to zero and in here we're done and for knowing that it works i'm gonna make the opacity to 50. oh my god wireless mouse keyboard doesn't work why oh okay run yeah we have this and yeah it works and then we need to say if uh, if the glasses balls count is equal to zero it's already done okay and now for knowing that if all glasses are done and we completed the level we need to hit B in here and say if glass done is equal to zero else and this is a trick for knowing that if all glasses are done and uh, in here we need to add a new layer for level done and this layer this layer just have a text object for showing this level done text level done and it needs to be false and also in here let's say opacity of layer gain to 30 and then make the layer level done visible okay very quickly yeah we are done thanks for watching have a great day